Star Wars fans and Black Series action figure collectors, we're looking at number eight from The Mandalorian. This figure coming fresh from goodiestoys.com.au. It is Moff Gideon, played by Giancarlo Esposito. I literally did the uh, three and three quarter inch vintage collection version of this figure last week, so I'm really thrilled to have this one so soon. Um, and I'm, if I can, I may even do a comparison just to have a look at the two. Um, yeah, really, really looking good. Um, a lot of people were saying that the uh, three and three quarter one looks better. Um, and having both of them in hand, uh, without having opened this one yet, so they're pretty much on par with each other. They're both looking fantastic. Uh, Moff Gideon is an incredible character. He's been fantastic. And uh, the time of recording, the uh, it is a day before the season two finale. So we'll see what happens with Moff Gideon at the end of season two tomorrow at the time of this recording. <laughs> Nevertheless, let's uh, let's get a look at the figure. Let's open it up. All right, and here is Moff Gideon himself. This is another cracking figure. Hasbro's just blown it away with some of these recent releases. Um, this is no exception at all. Having just reviewed the Vintage Collection one a week ago, like I said, um, they're very much on par. I'm not even gonna say one's better than the other. They're both fantastic figures for each scale. Um, they packed him the same way as the vintage one. They had the cape in a separate bubble. Uh, I guess that's to stop paint sticking and other damage that's, that could potentially happen. Um, we do know that with plastic capes, they tend to get a little bit gummy, um, can lose their mold, lose their shape and lose paint and have paint sticking to the figure. So Moff Gideon here, he has a square peg hole in his back and because of his really shiny armor, it's really hard to show, show up on the camera there, but I think you get the point there. So that does just sort of peg in there very nicely, really nicely sculpted cape. I love the red on the inside. Um, yeah, just pops very nicely. Uh, accessory wise, he comes with his sort of little, little small firearm here. You know, being being the leader of an army, he's a, uh, I'm just gonna move his cape for the minute. Being the leader for an army, he's, uh, his troops be fighting on the front lines before he has to Draw, draw a weapon in most cases, um, which is cool. Um, and that does fit down in his holster, like so. Nice snug fit. Looks good. All right, let's get a look at that. Oh no, we'll get a look at the dark saber. How how can I forget the dark saber? Look at it. So I guess the upside to the six inch dark saber, I did mention that the three and three quarter inch wasn't was very flimsy. Um, I guess the bonus that this one has is, is, is scale. Um, it's a bit thicker in plastic. Paint apps are a bit cleaner. You know, it's got this sort of, not quite black through the middle, but it's sort of like a, uh, you know, very metallic gray to sort of give that black sheen. And then a sort of clear, clear white on the edges, which, does look nice, appears to be, yep, unpeggable, so you can just have the hilt. So that's very nice. First dark saber we've seen in six inch scale. About time. <laughs> Would have loved to have seen it with a pre vizsla But uh, yeah, Moff Gideon is, is cool. I like this dude a lot. He's so nasty. <laughs> you, you love to hate him. Let's get a close up look at his face, because that is a, Pretty bang on. Again, I spoke about in the Grief Cargo video about the um, the photo real face paint apps having that little bit of a gloss sheen to it. Um, if they could sort of work around that, work around that a little bit and get a little bit more matte finish, I think these faces would just, you know, look absolutely 100% as opposed to the, uh, you know, 99% they are now. I think they're pretty damn good. Um, but yeah, if they could just take a little bit of that gloss out of the uh, paintwork I think I think they'd be onto a winner going forward but yeah really great lightness to uh, Giancarlo Esposito he's a fantastic actor really passionate gets into his roles does a great job and uh, yeah Moff Gideon has been fearful <laughs> he, uh, he he's done a great job inciting dread of a imperial warlord leader you know complete no disregard for his no regard for his for his troops 
you know, spoke in season one about him taking his troopers out just because they answered back wrong or... <laughs> The boots, they look cool. Just his outfit is just so good. I love it a lot. Even better with the cape on. Capes are classy. Capes are awesome. Capes are sexy. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's fantastic. Look, It's a great looking figure. Really, really digging Moff Gideon. Can't wait to see what happens in this season two finale tomorrow. I'm very, very excited, guys. Um, yeah, great range of articulation on this figure as well. He's got all the all the good bells and whistles that six inch figures have now. All the pinless technology that still get great movement in the elbows, like so. Nice angles, knees as well. You don't need any more angles than that. Brilliant stuff. Looks like his uh, shoulder bells may be a little bit, they're a soft plastic, so you can get that, get them to sort of just slip over onto, this, onto the shoulder there as you bring the articulation up. I have had a couple of slightly less glued figures uh, lose them, but they're easy to glue back on, so that's no problems. Can't tell, it doesn't look like he has the uh, butterfly joints in there, but uh, that's okay. Can let it slide with this guy. He should, he's sort of slender enough that uh, you know he should be able to get most poses. Yeah, there's not a lot of, unless it's tucked right in there, I can't tell. So, <laughs> but yeah, great articulation on the head. The joint in the neck and the bottom of the neck as well, allowing for some movement. But uh, yeah, Moff Gideon's great. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Any thoughts and feedback are fantastic. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do and hit the notification bell so you get these reviews straight in your inbox as soon as they're dropped uh, or an alert on your smart device. <laughs> That's what we all have now, isn't it? All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Until my next video, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.